plan coming in, we thought with their size, and uh, they have struggled to shoot the ball from the perimeter early in the season. We thought that playing zone gave, gave us the best opportunity to match up with them. And for 40 minutes, I thought we did an excellent job of following the game plan. What do you think was the difference between the two teams today? I mean, what, why, why did the score, like, say 68, 66? Uh, really, when I look at the stat sheet, I think rebounding. Uh, it's tough to rebound out of zone. Uh, their size uh, caused a problem for us on the glass. But again, I give credit to uh, Kansas State for a, a great effort in finishing the game. But I also want to give major kudos to our guys. We came in and fought, and I truly believe that we had an opportunity to win, and we were a possession or two away from accomplishing our goal. And uh, we're encouraged going forward. Now Stokes had a 24 against North Carolina, and you guys held him to eight tonight. What was the uh, what was the game plan coming into that game for him? Well, I watched that game on television, and I was scared to death of Stokes. Uh, I thought it was the best game of the season for him. He was six for eight from the three point line. We were hoping that he didn't have another hot shooting night, but our guys took it personal that uh, we wanted to lock down the team's guess go to guy. I thought it was between he and Edwards, really, who led them in scoring for the most part. And uh, we did a magnificent job of locating him in the zone and not letting him get clean looks to the basket. Eric, can you talk back to the game? You when you go against a guy like Justin Edwards, uh, I mean, what, what was it about his game that made him so productive, I think, tonight against you guys? Well, he, he's a, an incredible athlete. Um, he slashes to the basket. He's their leading rebounder, I believe. And uh, he's just a dynamic athlete on the floor. So what you want to do is try to keep him out of the paint and make him shoot jump shots. Uh, I thought in the first half, he got some baskets in transition where we didn't rotate back quick enough. But when you play teams like Kansas State, sometimes in transition, it's like they're running downhill. And uh, he does a great job of getting out on the break and hunting those guys are tremendous outlet passers. And we talked about that in our game plan. And I just thought that Edwards, you know, I hadn't looked at his numbers, but to have 18 and seven, he's right about where he averages. And uh, it's just a solid basketball player. You had two of your players account for, I think it was 68% of your scoring today. Can you talk about their effort and how that kind of kept you in the game? These two guys can really score the basketball. I, I tell them every day that that is not our challenge. They can put the ball in the hole. They've been scoring. They were high school teammates, so they know how to play with each other out there on the floor. They feed off each other's energy. They hold each other accountable. Uh, so I'm not surprised by their production, and I believe our team isn't surprised either. They've been doing it for a long time together, and now they're at South Carolina State with the same uniform on. So hopefully we can just maintain that, and these two can go through the league and be solid performers night in and night out for us. That's it. All right.